If you have a daughter, get her exposed to some level of computer programming or robotics or something that they're interested in. Uh, we no longer, thank God, live in a society where young girls think that, oh, this is something I cannot do, or this isn't a, a role that uh, a woman would ever get involved in. There's so many great opportunities, and thank goodness we're seeing a lot more women now entering the, uh, the high-tech space, whether it's mechanical engineering, software engineering, uh, computer security, what have you, and uh, you know, give them the opportunity. Now, once they learn it and once they understand it, they might say, you know what, this isn't for me, but at least they have the option to make that decision. That's really what this is all about. So we have with us Zoe. Zoe has been uh, learning coding for a while. Um, so we're going to ask Zoe what, what got her interested in computer science and coding and how she has found it to be. We are here with Nishita today. Nishita has been a student of Young Monks for some time. So we are going to uh, get to know her, what her background is, and then we're going to go into why she picked up coding and why, uh, how she likes it and so forth. So Zoe, uh, what, why did you take computer science and what, what made you uh, interested in it and how did you get started? Uh, I was just really interested in computers and my dad, he's really into computers and coding and hacking, so I kind of want to follow in his footsteps. Awesome. So when you started uh, computer programming, how old were you at that time? Uh, I was about 10 when I started programming. Okay. So Nishita, tell uh, our audience something about yourself. Well, I'm 12 years old. I go to Bell Middle School and I really enjoy coding. Awesome. So Nishita, a lot of our viewers are uh, curious to find out uh, how did you get started in coding? You know, what, what got you uh, enrolled and then uh, how, did you, how did you find it? Well, a couple, a couple months before I started Young Ones, my dad just downloaded a couple of coding apps on the iPad to see if I was interested in it, and he saw that I was interested in coding, so he decided to enroll me to uh, So when you started, did you find it uh, different than what you expected? Well, I didn't really know what to expect because I never did it, but it was really fun when I started, and I kept wanting to do it. So before, I used to think coding was just blocks, mm -hmm. but then once I came to Youngs, I saw that it was actually lines and codes. So oh. it was actually a lot different from what I expected. But I liked it. Okay. So in terms of what coding can do, uh, was it uh, more than what you thought was could be done? Uh, a lot more. A lot more? Okay. Lot more. You probably had some expectation of how quickly she was going to progress along and how she was, she was going to learn. Right. So once you enrolled her in a computer science program at the age of eight years of age, which is a very young age. Yeah. So what? how did you feel once you saw the progress? Yeah. Um, several of my friends did. Uh, that's too early. But I don't personally believe in that. It depends on how you introduce the kids to that. If you don't really force them, you don't want to write, have them write like thousand lines of code, as long as they enjoy doing it. What part of the coding did you enjoy the most? Uh, well, I personally like GPIO the best, like controlling robots and sensors. Okay, so that, that's very interesting. Many people think that uh, girls will, are not going to be interested in GPIO. But what we find out over and over again, they are as much and sometimes even more interested. Yeah. So yeah, like this is a testament to, this, to the mm -hmm. same thing. So did you do anything with GPIO that, that you built, that you presented? Yeah, actually I participated in two rover projects, which we controlled the robot to um, like a move in a maze. So we had to program it to move straight or forward. I hear that you have worked on some projects together with your friend to build a, build a robot. So can you tell us something about that? Well, right now we're building a robot to follow a line with sensors and um, we're going to program it with Python. So you kind of learn things right from the you know foundational level by using the real electronic stuff. Uh, you're using real motors, uh, real sensors, uh, real uh, wires, electronics, and so the kind of engineering challenges that you get to come come across there is real life knowledge, not like something putting together blocks that someone else has already programmed or or designed. Yeah, I know that you are from a technology field, and I'm sure you must have done a lot of research before picking a right school for her. Yeah. So, what kind of research did you do, and how did you end up uh, with young ones? Yeah, so certainly I did a lot of research online. I talked to other parents that were doing similar things with their children. And the thing that attracted me to Young Monks was, one, the student to, um, you know, the, the ratio, I guess, of, of student to teacher was, was great. 
Uh, she's never in a situation where there's one teacher trying to teach, you know, five, six, 10, 20 students. Um, also, the way the curriculum flowed uh, was that it really made sure that you understood at each level before you went on to that, that following step. So she really grasped those fundamentals. If someone who has not done programming so far and never has never even experienced it, what would be your message to them? Um, just try it because you'll probably like it and just keep working at it. The benefits of coding is that it makes you smarter, you use your analytical skills, and also makes you creative and independent, so I definitely would recommend it.